Hi guys, Amelia Newcomb here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe. Today I am giving you some tips for how to deal with a young or a green horse in a new situation. So whether it's at a horse show or at a clinic or the first trip away from home, it can be like really unnerving when you take your horse away from home the first time and you have no idea how they're gonna be. So comment below, let me know if you have this experience. Um, sometimes they're good away from home and sometimes they're worse. I would say most of the time they're a little bit worse and it t because they're tense and nervous in a new situation, their um, bad habits can be exacerbated. So last weekend I was at the California Dressage Society Championships up in Rancho Murrieta, which was super fun. I also got to meet a lot of you guys, a lot of my viewers, which was super fun. I had a bunch of people come up and tell me how much they enjoyed the videos. And I'm just so grateful to all of you. It's so nice to hear that the videos are helping you guys and inspiring you and giving you information that just like, it makes me so happy, I can't even tell you. So let's get into it. Also, please, if you haven't yet, sign up for my email list. I have really good emails that kind of just supplement these videos. I'll put the link down below there. I took um, my two kind of seasoned show horses, Harvey and Gatsby, and they were in the FEI levels. And then I also took a young horse that actually belongs to my mom and put him in the four-year-old Futurity. So we call him Junior. And it was his, actually his first tour show ever. And I was a little uncertain how it was gonna go. You know, I was kind of like, well, it could go either way. Either he's gonna be really good or he's gonna be really bad. You just don't know until you go. So I'm gonna give you a few tips for how I handled this young horse in a new situation. So the, my first tip is to keep to the same routine that you have with your horse at home. So with Junior, because he's a young horse and he's four, usually I lunge him before I get on him. So I did the same thing at the horse show. I got him out, I put the side reins on, and when I lunge him, you know, it's about working. It's about getting him in a working frame of mind. So I put him to work, I put the side reins on. Like, yes, I want him to get his bucks and his plays out, but I also don't want him to get totally worked up. So I put the side reins on, I kept him focused with me. Um, I also do like a little yielding, turn on the forehand kind of work from the ground before I get on him. Then once I get on him, again, I stick to the same routine that I have at home. So. And the other thing that's super important is right away I was putting him to work. It wasn't like I was just like walking around on a loose rein, letting him look around and see everything. Right away I put him to work, I got him on the bit, got him forward and moving around the arena. I usually try to, especially with a green horse like him because he doesn't always steer that well, I tried to find kind of like a quieter place where there wasn't so much traffic where I could at least get started and kind of see um, what I had going for me. So that's the first tip is just to stick to um, your routine, your normal routine. The second tip I have is to just really try to, even though you're nervous, like everyone's going to be nervous when they're on a young horse or a horse that they've never taken away from home and you just, you have no idea if they're gonna keep it together, if they're gonna completely explode and like try and dump you, you just don't know. So I consciously am like reminding myself, okay, sit back, take a deep breath, pet him. Like even when I was in the test, in the show ring, I was petting him, I was rewarding him, I was telling him good boy um, when he was doing the right thing because he was, he was such a good boy at the show. But you know, I could feel he was a little bit like, what are we doing here? You know, he's a little bit nervous. There's a lot going on. So just remember to calm yourself down and also give your horse confidence. So another thing that I do with um, the horses that I have that are young or nervous, and you know, I'm all about like, yes, you need to expose your horses and they need to get used to everything and you don't wanna overprotect them. But I found that sometimes the, um, the soundproofing ear bonnets 
can be really, really helpful for horses at horse shows, especially if your horse is noise sensitive. So these are, this is an example. This is what they look at. This one's made by Equestrian Stockholm, but a lot of companies make them. So um, basically what they are is like the ear is padded with this material. So it kind of just like muffles the sounds. I mean, the horse can still hear, but it just makes everything a little bit less shocking to them. So at the show with Junior, I, I had those, um, these uh, soundproofing bonnet on him and it just kind of helped to like mellow everything out so that there weren't such sharp, sharp sounds that could startle him. And again, it's not something that you want to like get used to as a crutch. You definitely want to expose your horse and get your horse calm. But if you watch the like the upper FEI levels, a lot of those horses in the freestyles, they have these bonnets on because I think it just helps the horses stay a little bit more relaxed and not be so overstimulated by the sounds at the horse show. Another tip, which is like more specific to showing, is that it's really hard when you have a young horse or a horse that you haven't shown a lot to know how much time you need to warm up. So how I kind of try to gauge this is I try and gauge with um, how much time I normally ride the horse at home. So for Junior, because he's four and he's green and he's doing training level, I really usually am only on him for 30 minutes at the most. So at the show, I didn't really want to ride him for longer than that. Basically, I tried to figure in that I was gonna lunge him for about 10 minutes and then warm him up for about 15 to 20 minutes and then go in and show him. Like the worst thing is with a young horse, if you have too much time and either one of two things happened, either you're walking around for a long time and you totally lose their focus and they're like, what are we doing here? And then they can get naughty just because you're not doing anything or you end up being just having no horse by the time you get in the ring. So this is a really hard thing is to kind of gauge that, right? Like where you have your horse relaxed enough at your show time um, but not overly tired. And so with Junior, obviously this was his first show. The first day he did two classes and the second test he was like perfect. The second day he had one class and by the time I got in the ring he was a little tired. So I'll show you a little clip in here. He like in one of my canners he picked it up late because like I asked for canner and it was just I could feel like he his hind end was tired. He didn't want to do it. Um, and then also the second time I asked for canner again, he was a little not quite with me and I actually put in an extra circle. So another thing that I think is really important with your horses when you take them away for the first time is you want to make it a positive experience. Like that's so important. And for junior at this show, you know, my biggest goal in the show ring was to give him confidence and to make it a good experience. So yeah, let, comment below, let me know what strategies you guys use, um, if you have any tips that you can share with people for how to handle the horse at a new situation or away from home. But definitely, you know, the more that, when you take your horse away from home, the more that you're able to just stick to the same routine, ride the same like you do at home, um, and you know, certainly at home, make sure that you're, you've got your ducks in a row, um, that you've got your horse on the aids and listening and with you before you go away from home because it will be worse <laughs> when you go away from home. But it's also really good to get your horse on a new property at a show and kind of in a new situation so that you can build that confidence and get out there and show. I hope this video helped you guys. Again, please like and leave me a comment. It really helps me. And... Thanks so much for watching. We had a great weekend. I'll put in some clips here of my older horses, Harvey and Gatsby. Um, Gatsby is eight this year. He did the pre-St. George and the I-1. And Harvey is seven. He did the fourth level. Both of these horses I've had since they were four. And you know, the first season of showing them was a little rough. Um, you know, because you just, they're un unpredictable, young horses, you don't really know how they're going to handle it, but, you know, just keep at it, keep taking them to shows, because now that Gatsby and Harvey are seven and eight, like, 
I trust them, they trust me, we have a good relationship away from home, I can take them in a new ring and they're with me. So, you know, do you just gotta kinda like get through those first few ventures away from home and get your confidence, get your horse's confidence and really just get your horse understanding that when you go to the show, it's the same thing as at home that they have to stay on the aids, they stay with you, they stay focused, the same routine. And sometimes, like, at least I find that my horses are actually better away from home uh, because they trust me and they look to me for that support in a new and uncomfortable situation. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Pushing you away while I want you to stay. Amazing God is eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes. I'm putting you to the test. Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Sorry that I've been playing games. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so. I am a queen, I need my king. Are you bad enough to sin? I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. Okay, let me just be honest with you. I want my jewel, want my jewel, want my jewel. And okay, I've been running circles all the time, but I want my jewel, want my jewel. I think so, I think so.